Hi, this is Teacher Chris. Welcome to Math Math Dali. In this video, we're going to talk about combined variation. Before we proceed, let's have a quick recap about direct, inverse, and joint variation. When we say y is directly proportional to x, we write it as y is equals to kx. When we say y varies inversely with x, we write it as y is equals to k over x. And when we say y varies jointly as z and x, we write it as y is equals to k, x, and z. This time around, we're going to talk about combined variation. When we say combined variation, it describes a situation where a variable depends on two or more other variables. It can be varies directly with one of the variable and it can be varies and inversely at the same time with others so let's have this if z varies directly with x and inversely with y then we have z is equals to kx over y where k is still a constant term and k is not equals to 0. Again, z varies directly. When we say directly, it must be the multiplication part and it must be found at the numerator. And inversely with y, inversely with y, y will be at the denominator part. Still, k is constant and k is not equals to 0. Let's take a look at our first example. If A varies directly with B and inversely with C, A varies directly, directly with B and inversely with C. Again, A is the first variable you have here. That's why you, it must be the first variable you will write. Varies directly, directly, multiplication, and must be on top with the letter the next variable b k b over c because of the word inversely let's have our second example express each of the following formula as statement we have here p varies directly we always read the numerator part always with as you can see there is a square root sign so we read it as with the square root of r and the denominator part is t inversely with t again we have the following formula we read it as p varies directly with the square root of r and inversely with t let's have our third example in our third example this is a situation part a varies directly with b and inversely with the square of c Take note, the first thing you do is to write the statement first into the formula. A varies directly with B, directly with B, and inversely with the square of C. That's the first step. Next step, you get the situation part. A is 8, or we, we solve for the value of K. B is 4, and C is 1. So, from the given formula, we solve for the value of k based on the second statement. 
we just evaluate or substitute the the variables into the following value a is 8 is equals to k b is 4 and we have here c as 1 c square therefore we have here 1 square we have here 8 4 times k is 4k still and then 1 square is 1 for us to get the value of k we we can do the cross multiplication this is 8 times 1 8 and 4 it must be equals to 4k divide both sides by 4 for us to get the value of k we need to isolate k so for k is equals to 8 divided by 4 and it is 2 afterwards we rewrite the formula earlier into another one but this time around we're going to change k into 2 and then we are going to read the last part of the statement or the last part of the problem find a when b is 24 c is 6 so a is missing b is 24 2 times 24 c is 6 6 c is square here 6 square we have here 2 times 24 we have 48 over 36 we reduce this one into lowest term we have Divide both sides by 12. They are both divisible by 12. That's why we have here 4 over 3. To simplify 4 over 3. We have here 1 and 1 third. So the value of A is 1 and 1 third. Again, whenever we encounter such statement or such situation, we first read the first statement and make it into vari into formula. A varies directly with B and inversely with the square of C. This is the first step. We write it as it is. Next, we solve for the value of K based on the next statement. If A is 8, B is 4, and C is 1. We evaluate. When we say evaluate, we are just going to substitute the value of the letters into the given variable and then we solve for the value of k after finding the value of k we have here we write the the formula earlier but this time around we change k into 2 the value that we have earlier and then we read the, le the next statement the next statement tells us that A is missing, B is 24, and C is 6. Afterwards, we interchange, we substitute for us to, to find the value of A. We have here B is 24 and six is, C is 6. We have here C as square. Take note, don't forget, when we need to square it, we need to square it. If C is 6 here, 6 square is 36 and 2 times 24 is 48 afterwards we reduce it into simplified version and then we can use four thirds or we can also use as one and one third hours our fi final answer that's all for this video thank you